Sheila, for crying out loud, open this door. Daddy, I will not. I just want to see that girl. I don't like her. I don't want to see the both of you. Now listen, Sheila, okay? Open this door and, and we can talk about this. Just just open the door. Uh, you know what, babe? Maybe I should just leave. No, 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 please. Stella, come on, please. Wait, shh, shh, shh. I know. Just wait. Just wait, please. Okay? Sheila, open this door right now, okay? You, you're embarrassing me. You want to be embarrassed. Sheila, what's the meaning of this? Go and open the door for your father now. I won't. I don't want that lady in this house. Really? Now, hand the key over to me. Sheila, give me the key, please. Be fast. Sheila, give me... Ah! Give me the key! Ah! Hey, 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 Rose, Rose, Rose. Leave her, okay? Just let her be. Leave her, okay? Just leave her. So what now? Stella, baby, why don't we just go eat out, okay? Oh, this. We'll, we'll hang out. Don't worry, your daddy will so deal with you when he comes back. I know you're upset and you're really mad at my daughter, but please just calm down, okay? Babe, yes. you are to be blamed for all this. I, I mean, how come you couldn't control your little girl? A nine-year-old girl for that matter. Too bad. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I I'm going to sort everything out. And how long is this going to continue? Just trust me, okay? I would handle everything as soon as I can. Why don't you just drink up and uh, we'll go and get somewhere to sleep. Do you think your daughter will be able to accept me as her stepmother? With the way she's behaving? Come on, Stella. Of course. She's my daughter. Okay? You don't worry about it. I'll handle it. Oh, yes. You will handle her. I saw how you handled her earlier. Seriously, you really have to do something about it. I will. Uh -uh. I will. That was too embarrassing. I know, not for long. It's all gonna stop, okay? I'm sorry. I don't want to pick my calls, Abby. Is there a problem? I called Daddy and he did not pick my calls. Probably he's busy. Busy doing what? Maybe he's in the hotel with that girl. Or maybe he's sleeping with her now. Sleeping with her? Where did you get that from? Sheila, see, I don't want to ever hear that word from your mouth again. You hear me? 
You are not my father and you can't tell me what to do. You are just a maid. This time. It's late and daddy is not yet back. Daddy is a man. He can take care of himself. I knew he must be in a hotel sleeping with that stupid girl. Sheila! Don't use that word again. Besides, if your daddy sleeps out, it's your fault. So How? Yes. That he brought in a woman I don't like. You can't tell me what to do. You are not my mother, neither are you my father. Really? It's okay. I'm not your mother. But neither am I your father. Sleep here. Okay? And Sheila, what's the meaning of this? Daddy, where are you coming from? Mommy, you locked me out yesterday, remember? So I slept outside. You slept out because that's what you wanted. I know you slept with that girl yesterday. Hey, now, Sheila, I'm your father. Shut up and leave that door. I'm not a baby. Answer my question. Did you or did you not? those kind of words she says. She's been letting out some words that is not, I mean, a girl of her age should not be letting out. Not at all, sir. So? Sir, yesterday she asked a question that, 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 that a girl of her age shouldn't. I was shocked as well. She was asking if, 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 if you were sleeping with the lady you brought yesterday. Really? Yes, sir. And I think you should visit her school. Talk with her teachers. She could probably be learning those words from the school. I'm so sorry for what I did yesterday. I'm so sorry just that I hate that girl. Even if you hated her, you should have at least obeyed me and opened the door. I'm so sorry. And um, by the way, you say some things that a young girl of your age shouldn't be saying. Where did you learn all those words from? What words, Daddy? We'll talk about that later. I'm stepping out now. We'll talk about this when I get back, okay? So, subtraction of fraction. You say 3O number 1 over 7 minus 2O number 1 over 8 equals to 
one or number eight over what do you write here? Excuse one. me, Auntie Rose, I want to ask you a question. Okay. Do you have a boyfriend? Huh? I said, do you have a boyfriend? No, I don't have a boyfriend. Why? I just want to know. Well, I don't have a boyfriend. I'm yet to see the person I like. So. If you see, will you sleep with him? Sheila, I thought I warned you not to use those words again. How old are you? Look at the kind of question you're asking me. Let's concentrate on your assignments. Thank you. I need you to answer my question. How are you? I'm fine. Hey, you're looking big now. Ah, ah Rose. Rose. How are you? Fine, welcome. Yeah. Is my uncle in? No, no, no. He stepped out. Okay, no problem. Let's go inside. Sheila! Is she going to lock the door again? I don't think so. Please come. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Thank you sir. Ah, Joe, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Ah, you're welcome. When did you get back? Oh, a few minutes ago. Oh, okay. Oh. Stella, meet my cousin, Joe. Joe? Oh, Joe, nice to see you. You're welcome. Have a seat, okay? Let me get you something to What is it? Daddy brought that girl again. Sheila, you need to allow Daddy to do what he wants. He's an adult. If he loves her, he will not care for me again. And I'm going to kill that girl. Kill her? Sheila, don't use that word again. Kids don't use it, okay? I don't care. She's trying to steal my dad away from me and trying to take mom's position, but that will never happen.
not know I was at the back. We are at the back here together. Stella! Stella! Come, come, come. help me, help me, Kaya! You will have to call the forensic to come over here and walk. Okay, sir. Yes, I think somebody in this house killed her. I'll call them right away. Mr. Ben. Yes, Detective. What really happened? Exactly everything I told you on the phone. You see, I just came in with my friend and um, I met with my cousin because he just got back from school. Uh, I excused myself to go get us some drinks and I was stopped dead in my track by a loud noise. I had screamed. How long were you out of the sitting room? Well, I was just there for about four or five minutes because I went to use the restroom before going to get the drinks. Is there anyone who does not want to see both of you together? Well, my daughter, but she's too young to commit such a crime. I mean, she's only nine years old. Where was your cousin when you called for him? Well, uh, when I screamed, uh, he came in from outside. He went to get a drink as well as the others. They all came from outside. You said Sheila hated her. Did you think she killed her? No. Sheila is just nine. She can't kill. Was there any time she left you for inside when both of you were outside? No. You said both of you were discussing. I wonder what an adult will be discussing with a girl of nine. Or are you sleeping with your boss? I'm not sleeping with my boss, ma. Why? Maybe you don't want him to have a girlfriend. Maybe you hated Stella and wanted her out. That was why you killed her. With due respect, ma, I did not kill Stella. And I have nothing to do with my boss. How can you imagine a thing like that? Don't you have a better question for me? For your information, ma, I have nothing to do with my boss. Neither did I kill Stella. If you don't have further questions for me, leave. It is so shocking that Stella was killed a few hours after you arrived at your uncle's house. Did you kill her? Detective, I don't have reason to kill her. I don't even know her. I just met her today. So why would I kill her? That is what I want to know. They walked in. We stayed pleasantries. I went outside to get a drink for myself. When I returned, I sat here. I only rushed in when I heard my uncle screamed. I didn't kill her. Where were Rose and Sheila at that point in time? I, 
I don't know. Maybe on the back of the house. I don't know. Do you think Rose killed her? No. I don't think so. I don't think she killed her. Why? Sally, Rose is a nice girl. I've known her for some time. She's not capable of killing. Joe, how do you know a girl who is capable of killing? I know you hated Stella. Did you kill her? Detective, what makes you think I killed her? Answer my question. Did you kill Stella? You should answer my question too. You killed her because you hated her. Detective, if you hate someone, will you kill the person? I am the one doing the question. Just answer and stop asking. Well, I hated her and I'm happy she's dead. But I did not kill her. Then who did? That's your job, detective. Anything? Nothing, sir. I see. Someone in this house killed her. That little girl knows something. What do you mean? She's smarter than her age and too young to commit murder. But the words that comes out of her mouth is fire. Do not go in or touch the body. The forensic team is on its way. There has to be an official investigation. No one should leave town. As it is right now, everybody is a suspect. Sheila, I need to ask you a question and I want you to be truthful to me. Did you kill Stella? No, Daddy. What makes you think I killed her? Well, because you hate her. So if you hate someone, will you kill the person? That means you are going to kill me because you hate me. No, darling. Of course I do not hate you. Come, 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 come. I do not hate you. It's just that um, Stella's death is going to put me into a lot of trouble. Well, I'm happy she's dead. Because now you can have my time. I don't know what to think. Maybe someone sneak in and killed her. Then walk away. Mm -mm. That's not true. There's no way someone will walk into this compound, murder her, then leave without being seen.
You said Sheila hated her. But she she can't kill her. I mean, she's just a kid. She can't commit such crime. That's true. Sheila cannot kill her. Moreover, we are together behind the house. Oh, we are missing something. Something is wrong. Good day, Mr. Ben. Hello. We are here to take your cousin to the station for further questioning. Why? He arrived at your house and your girlfriend was murdered the very moment he arrived. So we cannot just believe it's a mere coincidence. Detective. Young man, you have to join us to the station for further questioning. Why me? You are a prime suspect in the murder of Stella. But... But... I, I just... Detective, look, I don't understand again. I don't understand because it's been over a week since you picked my cousin from here. And you keep saying you release him, you release him, but nothing. Detective, I have been to the station three times and they keep telling me the same thing. They, they, they're going to release him. Please. Look, I know it's a murder case, but you can't just pick him up like that. Better still, why don't you come and arrest me? Look, I know it's a murder case, but you need to release him. His parents are on my neck, crying. Okay. Please, you just need to let him come home. All right. Thank you. Sheila, how are you? Fine. Um, Sophia, meet my little angel. Sheila, Sheila, meet my friend, Sophia. That is she your girlfriend? Uh, yes, I would say so. with their attitude.
What is it this time around? Daddy brought another girl home again. Sheila, you have to allow your daddy live his life. Your daddy is a man. He needs a woman. He needs someone that will help him train you. I don't need anyone to train me. Daddy can do that. You're just a kid. You have no idea. I am not a kid. I am nine and I am in primary four. Whatever. Just don't do anything stupid that will get daddy angry. Okay? Now come. Let's go. I'm sorry I took so long. I... Oh my goodness! No! No! No, no! No! Sophie, please don't die. Please don't die. Ah! Sheila! Rose! She! Sophie, what happened? <coughs> Sheila, what happened? I left the both of you here. She came to me a few minutes ago. Look at me. Look at me! Tell me the truth, okay? Tell me, did you kill her? No, Daddy. I went out as soon as you went out to make your call. Oh my God. <laughs> Sophie, please don't die. Sophie! Not do this. I mean, it's pretty obvious here. Someone is trying to frame us up. Mr. Ben, this is the second time someone is dying in your house. And you don't expect us to look the other way. We believe that the first mother have a connection with this. So please, let's go. my daddy. took daddy away. I know. I saw him on the station. Okay. Don't worry. Let's go. Rose, how are you? I'm fine. Welcome. <laughs> Joe, I'm afraid. I don't know what is going on again. It seems this house is being haunted. Or someone is after your uncle or something. I'm confused too. To be honest. Well, he said I should call my father and tell him that I'm out. They have my phone. They said I'm still on investigation. He said I should call my father. So I don't know if you have a phone. I just want to make a call. Yeah, I have my phone. It's inside. Let me get it.
Where's Rose? She went out. She went out? Really? To where? I don't know, but I think she has a boyfriend. What makes you think she has a boyfriend? My child guests do. I'll be leaving next week. I want you to quit your job and follow me. Quit my job? No, I can't quit my job. Why? I have some stuff to handle. Stuffs? Babe, your boss is in the police custody for suspected murder. And like, who is even going to pay you? My love, if I quit, who is going to take care of Sheila? Another maid, of course. And to be frank, your boss might not come out of this. My boss is coming out of it because he's innocent. Babe, innocent. Two ladies died in the house of your boss, barely two months. And come on, that man knows what he's doing. He doesn't know anything. I believe someone is after him, but we will fish him out first. All right. Enough of my boss. Come see me on to go. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Bye. Daddy. Baby. Oh. How are you? I'm fine. I hope they did not hurt you. No, they didn't, darling. Hmm? Are you okay? Yes. You sure? Yes. Well, like I previously said, we all have to be careful and very vigilant. As a matter of fact, we are all under investigation. Our going out and our coming in will be monitored. So, we all have to be careful and be watchful. Any suspicious movement, and I mean any suspicious movement that's been noticed should be reported immediately. Okay? And, uh, Joe. I'm sorry you have to go through all of this for this past few days because I know you just came back from school to rest, okay? There's no problem. I'm, I'm happy they did not lock you up. Well, I was very lucky. Whoever is trying to set me up will not go scot-free. Exactly. Just give me what is drink. Sheila, come and eat. Sheila! Sheila, what's wrong? What's the problem? What's happening? I'm sorry, Daddy. Hi, Keisha. Hi, Baby Bob. Look who followed us here from the farmhouse. The headless dog. Oh, a doggy. What's his name? Hello. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, B I N G O B I N G O B I N G O and bingo was his name. Oh, <laughs> isn't he cute? <laughs> there was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, I N G O I N G O I N G O and bingo was his name. Oh.
Hey, darling. Ah. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, sweetie. Mwah. How are you? I'm fine. I forgot today is school day, okay? Mm. Um, you listen to your teachers and be a good girl, okay? Okay. All right. Bye. 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 Love you. Aha. Over half an hour. Well, I've been at home for the past one and a half months. Bro, there is absolutely nothing to sell. I as in I have sold everything. There's no more market. I, I told you. I told you that this Chinese man you introduced me to would delay my goods. I told you. And just imagine now. Just 10,000 pairs of jeans now. It's taking him over two months to deliver. All right, no problem then. All right, I'm waiting. Shit! Angela! 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 My goodness! Uncle? Huh? Are you okay? What is it? Yes, Mr. Ben, you sounded so urgent over the phone. Yes, detective. I needed to tell you that um, my ex-girlfriend appeared to me. Appeared to you like she's dead and appeared like a ghost? Yes, she died in a tragic motor accident about a year ago. But unfortunately, I was not there to save her. So I was just thinking, maybe she's the one going around killing all these people. Mr. Ben. Detective. First. I don't believe in ghosts. And secondly, ghosts do not commit crime. I mean, is that why you called me here? Yeah? Well, yes. We cannot um, overlook the possibility. Possibility of what, Mr. Ben? I mean, possibility of your ex-dead girlfriend killing people in your house? Or should I say killing your girlfriend? Since your boss is back, I think you have to come with me. My love, like I said before, you have to give me some time. I have unfinished business. Babe, you will get a better job there. Mm. Leave this your housemate job. Okay? You won't understand. Okay. Give me till month's end. I promise, once I'm paid, by then, I must have finished what I have in mind. Mm -hmm. But if you say so, I can wait. That's my mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so sweet. So, can we go? Go away. Yeah, I'm not going to go. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go. No, I don't want to go. You again? Yes, me again. What are you doing here? Now, why are you killing the people that I love? I did not kill you. I'm not the one killing them. But you're just suffering from the crime you committed. You shall know no peace. You claimed you did not kill me. But you gave me the pill that killed me and my unborn baby. No, no, no. We both agreed to terminate that pregnancy. No, it was your decision. You shall feel my pain. You shall suffer in confusion.
Someone is coming out. Oh, Mr. Ben. Yeah. And where is he going to? I don't know, but we'll find out. I need to see my brother, Detective. Please, just let me see my brother. Now, Mr. Ben, calm down. Calm down. You cannot see him. I mean, it is not a good sight. What are you saying? What are you saying? You, my cousin, I just left in the house when I went to go get something. You're telling me he's gone? Just like that? Huh? So, so where is after my life? How about the ghost? I told you about the ghost, didn't I? I told you about the ghost! Mr. Ben, you said so. But it appears that you're the only one seeing this ghost. And there's no way we can investigate a ghost. And no one sees the ghost kill him. Who is trying to kill me? Who is trying to destroy my life? I need to see my brother. Mr. Ben. Just Mr. Ben. Mr. Ben. Mr. Ben. Mr. Ben. Cheers. Cheers. A good life. Long life. Mm. Mm. It tastes good. You want another shot? No, no, no. Okay, just hold on, hold on. Yeah. So, does it mean you're not taking me to the house today? Um, no, maybe some other time. Some other time? Why? Don't tell me you're scared of your daughter or the ghost. Of course, I'm not scared of anybody. I just don't want another dead in my house. Do you really think I'm going to be killed by the ghost or your daughter as well? Hey, hold on. I I'm not saying my daughter is the one killing my ex-girlfriend, okay? I'm just using the ghost story as a cover-up, okay? So, there was never a ghost, is that what you mean? Well, there was actually a ghost. I, I think the ghost is possessing her to do all the killings. Just a theory, just a theory, by the way. I think I'll need that <laughs> shot. Thank you. Ah, Sheila, how are you, darling? I'm fine, Daddy. Hi, baby. And who is this? Um, I'm your daddy's girlfriend and soon to be your stepmother. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. We'll see about that. Come on, don't worry. I can handle her. Trust me. Let's go in. Come on. Sheila, what is it? I brought you out here because I want to respect you. I just want that lady in this house and I want her to leave. Now you listen to me, you little demon. You little witch. What is the meaning of this? Are you trying to become a bone in my throat? Now listen to me and listen real good, okay? I am going to marry that girl and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. If you misbehave now, I will send you to the police station. 
Well, you know the detective are watching this house, right? Well, you know they are watching this house, right? Hey, you do anything stupid. Hey, just, just, just look at her. Little demon. Look, you are beginning to know more than your age. What nonsense? I don't know how to get out of the house. Imagine daddy. What has he done? He said he's going to marry that auntie. Wow. That's good news. Soon you'll have a stepmother that will take care of you. So you're in support? Of course. That's the right thing to do. So daddy's doing a great job. Even you. Brutus. Rose, it seems like Daddy have not learnt a lesson. He brought another girl to the house. Countless time I've told you. Allow your daddy. Let him be. Allow him live his life. Besides, I'm busy. Is that all you have to say? Well, I'm not your father. And I can't tell you what to do. You are using my words against me. Chillam busy. I didn't get a chance to explain. <laughs> Two extra fingers freak me out. And what is the meaning of that? You have to leave my father's house before you die like others. Really? Well, I've heard so much about you, which. But guess what? I came prepared. You know what? I have come to stay. And not just that. I will marry your father and give birth to better children in just one day. I mean, one day, I will kill you with my bare hands. Sense. Wow. That's brave. We'll see about that. What kill others will kill you? <laughs> Well, I see you both are getting along so well. <laughs> oh yes, honey, your daughter is such a funny girl. <laughs> Daddy, as the sunshine is such a joker. <laughs> I will leave you both to it, okay? I'll just step out on the back. All right, darling, take Bye. care. Bye. Take care, Daddy. <laughs> you are going to die today. No, I am going to get pregnant for your father today. 
That is what I'm going to do. Now, get out of this place. Get out! You little witch. Where is it going? Talk to me. What is it? She said she's going to kill me. That's because you said she's going to die like others. Come on, girl. That's a mean thing to say. I don't like her. You don't have to. As long as your daddy loves her, it's fine. She's going to steal my daddy away from me. She won't do it. All you have to do is give her a chance. Just a small place in your heart. Love her. See her as your mother. Okay? I promise you nobody will hurt you. Okay? Now come to your room. I want to show you something. She's the maid! She's the one! Oh my god! Kill you the way I killed others. Mr. Ben killed my sister. And I'm killing you. What? Drop the knife now! Or I'll shoot you! You don't know what you're doing, officer. I want Mr. Ben to suffer heartbreak. Mr. Ben gave my sister an abortion pill and she died in the process. I watched my sister die in my arms. Allow me to do this. Stop it! Or I'll shoot you. Uh, what's going on here? Honey! Calm down. She, it's okay. It's she okay. She tried now. to kill me. She what? Just, she just confessed now. That she has been the one killing all your girlfriends. Yes, she's a witch. She's a witch. Yes. Yes. Why? Why? Yes. Why? Why was uh, Angela not good enough for you? What? Why did you ask her to terminate the pregnancy? You gave her an abortion pill and she died in the process. I didn't just come into your life as a maid. I'm here for revenge. Since Angela, my sister, wasn't good enough for you, no other woman will be good enough for you. Hey.
Ele não se esconde. Não se. Não se sabe onde ele está. Não se sabe onde ele está. So you came for revenge? And, and it was you who killed Stella and made it look like it was Sheila who did it? me without being suspected. But why, Rose? I thought what I've done for you. Why? Why would you do such a thing to me? Why, Rose? And, and then you killed Sophia? Okay, how about Joe, my cousin? Now, what wrong has he done to you? I mean, what wrong has that poor boy done to you? I'm sorry about Joe. Oh. He saw what he's not supposed to see and was going to tell you, so I have to shut him up. I saw this plastic knife stained with blood. What's this? So what do you think? Rose, are you the one killing uncle's girlfriends? You caught me, but I was doing it to protect him. I was protecting him from those girls. How? Fine. Hand the knife over to me. I promise I will tell you everything. I will explain everything, all that has been going on in this house that nobody knows. Trust me. The whole truth. Nothing but the truth. so unlucky. How could you? What is going on here? She just confessed she has been the one behind the murders. Yes. You? The least suspected one? Perfect crime, you may say. I'll be going to jail. But I'm coming back for you. I'll make sure you Get suffer. Up. If you move, I'll shoot you. Detective, Sir. take this fool out of here. Now move. No, I'm not bad for you. No, I'm not bad for you. Hey, no, no. I'm not bad for you. Go, go. I thought I'm the one that was killing your girlfriends. I'm sorry, honey. I was so confused. Are you really going to marry her? Oh, well, yes. Well, since Rose is gone, I think I'm going to like her. I'm going to allow you to marry her. Uh-huh. 
Thank you, darling. Thank you. No, thank my daddy. Okay, daddy. Thank you. <laughs>